Hello and welcome everyone to the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society's 44th Annual Juried Exhibition. It's a spectacular representation of the commitment and dedicated watercolor artists from around the world who entered this year. Thank you to the juror of selection, Sue Warren, and the juror of awards, Jane Stoddard. Your choices from the paintings entered and ultimately successfully selected as winners could not have been a simple task. Congratulations to all the exhibitors and award winners this year. Best wishes to those who entered the show this year but didn't get in. We just have to keep on trying. My personal thanks goes to my vice president, Janine Swartz, who was the sole organizer of this juried show. When someone works a full-time job and then takes extra time to organize and commit and coordinate the intake, it takes dedication. Janine, I really appreciate what you've accomplished as the jury exhibition chair. Thank you to Nick Muller, our webmaster, for setting up the virtual 2023 exhibition slideshow. I extend my appreciation to all the corporate sponsors of the many friends of PWS for their contributions in cash, grip, gift cards, and materials this year. If you're watching this presentation or won an award, please support the sponsors of the awards, which you'll see in a minute here, through your patronage and tell them thanks for being a sponsor of your award. My thanks goes to Helen Canfield, who was also very diligent and successful in locating and personally contacting the many sponsors to obtain materials and gift cards that are being awarded and for the donations to the Friends of PWS, PWS Awards, to Gay Dunn for her assistance in the individual awards certificates. Thanks so much to Ann, Pam Wanner, who obtained the jurors' comments for the top award winners. That wasn't an easy job. And thanks for assembling this virtual slideshow awards presentation. I have a lot of dedicated volunteers on my board, and they, they share a lot of their time to get things done, but we're always in need of someone else. Sometimes people have been on for quite a long time and they need a break, so we're always looking for some new people. For PWS to remain a viable resource to exhibit watercolor art to the rest of the world, we need new people coming in. We need young people too. We couldn't do this without you. So if you're listening and watching and are a member of PWS, if you have any new ideas, or an interest to help PWS on the board of directors or committees, please don't sit back and wait to see what gets done. Step up and be someone to help guide PWS into the future with your active participation. In 2024, the 45th International Jury Exhibition will be at the Lancaster Museum of Art on location in Lancaster, PA. Please watch for that announcement and the prospectus information to come out around May of 2024. And now on with the show and Janine Swartz. Hi, I'm Janine Swartz. I'm the vice president and um, jury show chairperson. And I'd like to congratulate um, everyone selected for the 44th annual international jury exhibit. This year we received uh, 456 paintings for consideration from 34 states and 15 countries. We are so appreciative of the time and careful consideration okay. our jurors devoted to reviewing our applications. As you can imagine, this was quite a challenging task. Um, the result though is a spectacular exhibit of a hundred works chosen by Soon Y. Warren Soon shared her thoughts, um, which Pam's going to share on the screen for us. If you'd like to spend a moment maybe reviewing Soon's remarks.
And from the group of 100 paintings that soon selected, our juror of awards, E. Jane Stoddard, uh, she chose 25 to receive awards. And Jane has shared her thoughts on this process with us. It was my honor and privilege to be asked to juror awards for the Pennsylvania International Exhibition of Watercolor 2023. Originally an oil painter, that ultimately shaped my method for painting in watercolor. I looked for strong drawing skills, strong composition, a shift in value, and strong color. I am not drawn to wishy-washy paintings. Regardless of my own style, I found in evaluating the paintings, I appreciated every style and looked for good technical skills. Also, the painting had to speak to me. Soon Warren selected a wonderful show with a wide variety of subjects and techniques. Every painting in the show deserved to be there and it was extremely difficult to pick the winners. I began with an overall view initially and some paintings jumped out at me, but when I reevaluated my initial selections, my feelings had changed. My final selections did match my criteria, were well done, and evoked a strong concept. It was a unique experience to be the awards juror and evaluate the work of so many distinguished artists. Congratulations to the award winners, but each and every painting made for a spectacular show. Today we celebrate those who have won awards, but do take time to um, visit the, our website and see the entire show. And that's at uh, pawcs.com. Now an exhibit of this size, as you imagine, takes uh, a lot of work and a lot of behind the scenes help. And we're so thankful for our merchandise and gift sponsors. You can see the list of those companies on the screen now. And we're also so thankful for our PWS, uh, the friends of PWS. They have made um, cash donations for awards. PWS matches those um, up to $100. So we're so very thankful for the friends of PWS. And I'd like to thank some of the people behind the scenes who, who made this exhibit possible. First, a special thank you to our leader, our president, Linda R. Young. She is truly the glue that holds us all together. We're so grateful to have you, Linda, thank you. We appreciate the diligence of our membership chair, Annie Matzik, who is also an awesome proofreader. And she goes through, she makes sure that everyone gets their points um, towards their Sylvan Grouse Award. And she checks for all of the signature award um, winners. And she'll be, we'll be hearing from her a little bit later on that. We are so thankful to our wonderful awards committee chairperson, Helen Canfield. Her dedication enables us to present these 25 significant awards. Webmaster Nick Moeller for putting together the online gallery. And a huge, huge thank you to Pam Wenger for her technical support, making this award ceremony possible. And we're grateful for the support of the entire PWS board of directors. So cheers to another successful exhibit. And we look forward to seeing your entries next year. And we're gonna move along and get right into our awards presentations. First off is number 25. This is the Blick Art Materials, Jerry's Artorama, American Frame Award, goes to Christine Masensic Bunn for Determined, 14 inches by 21 and a half inches, and this piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Christine. And I just want to say that I apologize in advance if I mispronounce any names. Number 24 goes to Art Depot, 
All right, it's the Art Depot Silver Brush Limited Jerry's Art Arama Award to Andrew Arkell for Coaster. This piece is 60 inches by 40 inches, and it's not for sale. Congratulations, Andrew. Number 23, Blick Art Materials, P.H. Martin, Jerry's Art Arama Award goes to Sherry Kleppy for Electric Orchid Vibrations. 22 inches by 30 inches, and this piece is $5,000. Congratulations, Shirley. Number 22, Silver Brush Limited, Legion Paper, Chroma Ink Award goes to Richard Russell for Milkweed. This piece is 20 and a quarter inches by 27 and a half inches, and it's $1,500. Congratulations, Richard. Number 21, Cheap Joe's Art Stuff Paint Tube Award goes to Dong Fang Lee for Fishing Return in the, in the Dusk. 21 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. And this piece is $8,500. Congratulations, Dong Fang. Number 20, the M. Graham Award goes to Shi Xian Wu for Rain and Fog, 16 and a half inches by 12 inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, congratulations, Shi Xian. Number 19, Jerry's Artorama Air Float Systems Daniel Smith Award goes to Larry Hughes for Audience of One, 19 inches by 42 inches and this piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Larry. Number 18, Jack Richeson and Company Inc. Blick Art Materials, Jerry's Artorama, Dr. P. H. Martin Award goes to Richard William Haynes for Japanese Iris. 19 inches by 28 inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Richard. Number 17, Dr. P.H. Martin, Blick Art Materials, Hannah Mula Paper, Silver Brush Limited Award goes to Jenny Davis for Destination. 30 inches by 22 inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Jenny. Number 16, Holbein Jerry's Artorama Core Golden Artist Colors Award goes to Catherine O'Neill for Cascade. 17 inches by 25 inches, and the piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Catherine. Number 15, West Charlton Frame Company, Windsor & Newton, Silver Brush Limited and Blick Art Materials Award goes to Don Watson for Snowed In. 12 inches by 18 inches. This piece is $440. Congratulations, Don. Number 14, Dixon Ticonderoga Award goes to Nell Dornbird for Black Alley Decatur. 22 inches by 30 inches. And this piece is $3,000. Congratulations, now. Number 13, the Vivian Cameron Friend of PWS and Free Spirit Watercolor Class honoring G.D. Hartman Award goes to Alexis Levin for Sunspots. 18 inches by 38 inches. And the piece is $2,000. Congratulations, Alexis. Number 12 is the Linda Young Friend of PWS Award and Baltimore Watercolor Society Award. This goes to Kathleen Giles for Life is Having a Spark of Hope. 22 inches by 30 inches, and the piece is $4,000. Congratulations, Kathleen. Number 13, 
Number 11 is the Helen Canfield Friend of PWS Award in memory of Marnie Lapley and Pittsburgh Watercolor Society Award. This goes to Jan Min for Awakening, 15 inches by 22 inches. And this piece is eight, uh, $1,850. Congratulations, Jan. Number 10, Bess Slagel, friend of PWS, and Ginny Crawford, friend of PWS Award, goes to Richard T. Jun Chow for Let's Dance. 21 and a half inches by 29 and a half inches. This piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Richard. Number nine is the Gary Saucer Friend of PWS Award in memory of Mary Jane Saucer. This goes to Chris Kropinski for Bird's Eye View number two, 30 inches by 22 inches. And the piece is $5,000. Congratulations, Chris. Number eight, the R. Mike Nichols Friend of PWS Award in memory of Joan Coffey and Philadelphia Watercolor Society Award goes to Z Fang for Red Leaves on the Rock. 30 inches by 40 inches. This piece is $3,500. Congratulations, Z. Number seven, Denny Bond Memorial Award goes to Lori Goldstein Warren for street art. 22 inches by 30 inches, and the piece is $5,800. Congratulations, Lori. Number six is the President's Award. This goes to Mick McAndrews for Night Shift. 15 inches by 22 inches, the piece is $1,500. Congratulations, Mick. Number five PWS Board Award goes to Bev Joswiak for Waiting to Dance, 23 inches by 18 inches, and this piece is $1,300. Congratulations, Joswiak. Bev. Waiting to Dance, another artist who handles figures beautifully. I love the way she puts so much detail into the figure itself and lets the background and foreground loosely done. I find it very effective in that it places the center of attention on the star of the painting. Again, another wonderful painting. Fourth place goes to Maria Apicorian for Ephemeral Five. 19 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. This piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Maria. Fourth place went to Maria Apakaran for ephemeral. I normally don't care for paintings with so much negative space, but this subject demanded this. She handled the subject manner extremely well especially fading her hair into the background, making for a very dramatic painting. You wonder what the subject is thinking. Third place goes to Roberta Oliver for Love Glistens, 14 inches by 21 inches, and the piece is $1,850. Congratulations, Roberta. Okay, the next one is Roberta Oliver. Uh, name of the painting is Love Glistens. Once again, I had a difficult time trying to uh, attach uh, what number to um, give to the painting. Uh, the reflections under the, um, under the geese and the wonderful execution of the sunlight on their backs made for a fabulous painting. The way she handled the water, I liked a lot. And overall, a wonderful painting. Second place goes to Ken Call for Kong Abbey Midnight Ballet, 22 inches by 39 inches. And it's $5,000. Congratulations, Ken. 
Okay, this was a very, very difficult because in the last year I've judged the Adirondack show and the Northeast watercolor show and Ken Call, I picked his paintings as number one. This was very difficult for me um, because I love his paintings, but there was just something about Lana's that I guess, I guess the detail and the fact that I'm doing still lifes myself now. So I guess that spoke to me, but anyway, I wish that I could have awarded two first places. Ken figurative work is fabulous. I love the ethereal feel of his figures and his selection of subjects is always wonderful. As you can tell, I'm a real fan of his work. And first place goes to Lana Privatera for Lessons Not Learned, 30 inches by 22 inches. This piece is not for sale. Congratulations, Lana. The first painting uh, that I picked uh, for first prize was Lana Privatera. Uh, the painting showed beautiful composition, wonderful execution of detail, especially on the ginger jar and the tea set. I love the way the light and shadow played, especially on the ginger jar. Her still lifes are always beautifully done and deserved to be first place. And again, thank you um, to uh, Pam for handling this, getting all of our jurors' comments. And congratulations again to all of our winners. Right now, we're going to hear from our membership chairperson, Annie Matzik. Congratulations to new signature members. Signature status is earned by being accepted into two PWS juried shows within an eight-year period and having paintings in both shows. Keeping membership in PWS active during the eight-year period and also after earning this status. Members are awarded a certificate and a PWS pin and may use PWS after their name. Records of years in the juried show are kept in the membership records. This year's names are Diana Alaberti, Teresa Cromwell, Kristen Herzog, Joy Moon, Lana Privetira, Sandra Webster, and Si Sean Wu. Congratulations to all of you. We're going to open it up now for the award winners to make comments if you like. And I don't know if there's any certain order, but um, Ken, do you want to, or Lana, do you want to start first? Oh, yeah, start with the top. There we go. Thank you. Unmute, Lana. I was saying, I'd rather not be first. I prefer that Ken talks first. He's a better speaker than me. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so anyway, so what do you want me to say? You know, is I'm extremely happy uh, with my award. It just, I was not expecting it. Uh, when I saw Ken's painting and the fourth painting, no, what's the lady with ethereal one? I thought, oh my God, they are first winners. I couldn't believe it. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful work this year. So I was not expecting it. Okay, so thank you so much, uh, Jenny's brother, for my award. And I wanted to thank you, the board, for all this amazing work you guys put on all this video. Everything is just beautiful. So you guys did a fantastic job. Fantastic. And thank you, Lana. Do, do, yes. And? Oh, it's me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, I certainly uh, am very honored to uh, to win any award, especially one in such a prestigious uh, uh, society as the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society. I mean, it's always been a very, very nice show, and uh, everyone always does such a great job. And and you can tell a, um, a good organization by how many artists enter 
enter their shows and keep entering year after year. So, and Pennsylvania is certainly one of those. So, yeah, it's a, and it's a great honor. And I want to thank uh, uh, Soon uh, Warren for picking such a fabulous show and especially, uh, and Jane Stoddard for doing a wonderful job and picking the awards. So, yeah, it's fun. It's fun being uh, uh, recognized and, uh, and uh, attending all these uh, little ceremonies and seeing everybody else's art and get to see all the faces of people you see just on the, on emails and texts and everything. So it's very nice to see everybody. Thanks, Ken. OK. Yes. It's myself. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you, first of all, for your service, for the board, for your beautiful letter, uh, Linda and Janine, that came to the house. I mean, it's just really nice, your emails. Um, yes, you handle this really well. And I, I'm so grateful and to be here with all of you getting these awards, all these beautiful paintings that I can't imagine that job, Jane. So thank you. Thank you soon for picking me to be in the show. And um, I just, uh, I'm just very grateful. And it's a beautiful show, it's a beautiful organization too. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. It's well deserved. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Roberta. Anybody else? Like Diana, would you like to say something? Oh, I just want to say thank you so much. I was actually just messaging Teresa, who was also on the list, um, just to let her know. I tried to screenshot her names up there, but I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> but no, it was always an honor to be signature in any society, and this one is uh, especially wonderful because I know how great of an organization it is so thank you so much and I look forward to entering more shows next year in Lancaster everybody hey. well, I, I also want to say a big congrats to all the other award winners I, I think I failed to say that but uh, yeah everyone should be very honored to when they get the awarded award so I love your ducks. You know that, Roberta. I gave you an award in the other show, so you know I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lana. Thank you for that. Yeah, the beautiful paintings, all of them. Yeah, I, beautiful, beautiful. I, 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 sorry. I was going to say, Laurie, did you want to say anything? Maybe. I have a sketchy internet. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Good. Um, you're not getting a picture because I'm cleaning out my garden today. I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Kind of <laughs> so anyway, I, I do want to say, Linda, it's good to see you again. I haven't seen in a while live, quote unquote live. But um, yeah, I just want to thank the whole board. And uh, PWS is one of the best organizations around. I taught for you all, I'm trying to think, was it eight years ago, something like that? And we had a great time. Um, everyone in the organization is super nice, but I want to thank the jurors, of course, and congratulate all the other award winners and congratulate mostly the people that entered and didn't get in. It's those people that make these shows and their tenacity to keep trying is what's going to get them there. So enjoy the journey, love your painting, and it'll happen to you too. So it's a good group. Keep with this PWS and you'll get there. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks, Lori. Is there anybody else who would like to say something? Mick, do you want to say anything? Nell came in late. She was talking. No, well, guess not. Okay. I want to thank everybody for attending today. And um, we invite you to participate again next year. I keep trying. When I first joined PWS, I must have had a heck of a good run because I was PWS signature member within three years. I haven't had a painting in for so long now. So, Lori, I'm one of those ones that keeps trying and plugging along, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to uh, get there. Good for you, Linda. You know. I know, you, I know you're, you are a pit bull. You're no poodle. <laughs> anyway, we could always use some help on the board, too. And whoever sees this after this uh, is closed out, Pam is going to make a 
she is making a, a video of this and it's going to be on our PWS YouTube, excuse me, YouTube channel. So when that is posted, I believe we'll probably send a, a mass email out to the, uh, the membership. And once you get it, if you'd like to share with your friends and your relatives and family and anybody else that you want to share your good work with or share the work of PWS with, please share the video with them. And we welcome any young person. And if you all have any information, as, and we're all about, well, I can't speak for everybody else, but probably one of the older ones on this group. But if you know someone who is younger, any, any ideas to get younger members into paint, I'm sure they're coming into your workshops and your, your groups and everything, just invite them to become a part of PWS because we're always in the, in the need of seeing new artwork. And uh, we, I'd like to see a change. I'd like to see a change. That's my big thing since I've been president. So I wish we had more people to help us out. And I wanna thank Pam and Janine and everyone who entered and Annie for taking care of the membership. It's wonderful. So. Like I said, Pam's going to be putting this on uh, the YouTube channel and I uh, should probably edit out, edit out my words now. So <laughs> I talk too much. Uh, I think there might've been another note I was given. Just remember to enter the show next year for the PWS show, uh, the 45th show, isn't that right, Janine, next year? The 45th yeah. International Jury Exhibition next year at Lancaster. Finally, on location, I can hardly wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank Lana, you. see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. It was so nice seeing you today. Love it. Bye. Bye-bye. Very nice.